Hello everyone, it's Noelle back with our 16th out of 100 original characters. Today's OC is Kai, who is an androgynous character done in watercolor pencil, who sports a cool deep skin tone and blue hair. I've shown off Kai a couple of times in my vlog videos up until when I finally finished them. I love their expression and I absolutely loved coloring them. Like the last few characters, Kai has a pretty safe shading scheme. But since they have a cooler and deeper skin tone, I still had to play around with proper colors to make them look believable. I'm finding the more characters I do who have deeper skin tones, the more I really enjoy doing them. I didn't have trouble at all with Kai. The only issue, if you could call it that, I could say, was deciding what shades of blue to use for their hair. Ultimately, I decided since their skin is deeper, a lighter shade of blue would help them stand out more as a character. Kai is also the first character I openly decided to play around with the idea of giving a character lipstick. It's really subtle, but I think it's something I'll definitely want to do more of in the future. I feel like I've been talking a lot lately about anime, and today is going to be no different. Today I want to talk about the first time I ever read manga. Actually scratch that because I can't precisely remember which title I read first, but let's just say it's a, it's a close tie between Magic Knight Ray Earth and Fushigi Yugi. I can't remember which of my friends was letting me borrow their manga, but as soon as I'd opened up the first novel, whichever novel it was, like I said, I don't remember, <laughs> I was hooked. I think these were also the backwards manga that were made for foreign audiences, so the pages were mirrored. But eventually my friend did start getting the authentic format versions that were eventually being put out. Okay, I digress. Any chance I got during study halls or downtime in class, I would pull out one of my borrowed manga and devour the pages until I was done. Handing it in to my friend at the end of the school day with the hopes and promise that they would let me borrow another. And they usually would, if they had the next volume that is. Number 16 of 100 is finished. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more art related content, I would totally appreciate if you would subscribe and remember to draw what you love and love what you draw.